mig min. Øh, vi har valgt temaet, hvordan påvirker vi øh, det menneskelige krop? Øh, nej, undskyld, hvorfor snakker jeg det? Sorry. Jess, Kasper, Emil, um, we just the theme, how does video, how do video games um, affect the human body? Um, this is the two first slides that we're missing. Jess, this is the two first slides. Oh, okay. <laughs> Or, um, no, we're missing. Uh, so, what is a video game? A video game is an electronic game that involves human interaction with the user interface to generate visual feedback to a video device. To put it simply, it's a game played electronically and connects a human... Yeah, no! <laughs> no! No! And to put it simply, a user interface is um, by which the user and the computer system interact in a particular use of the input device and software. Again, to put it simply, the user being the gamer, the computer system being the console of choice, whether it's a PlayStation, Xbox, PC, I, I don't know, and the input being the cartridge, the disc, etc., and the software being the game file itself inside the input. And then we have some screenshots of some games right here. <coughs> and some of you guys might already know some of these games right now because they are extremely popular. And um, they're all different genres. They go after different people and appeals to different people. And um, <laughs> um, there's millions of these games, so it's quite unpredictable to know when a game is popular or what kind of genre, but yeah. <laughs> but, um, you might know about Flia, PowerPoints. Um, why we chose this project is because we really like video games, and video games have been a part of society and things for a long time. Um, and it's very popular. Um, for kids and teens and young adults nowadays. Um, there's also different consoles, as you can see up there, uh, where you can play different games. There's the DS, the uh, PS, there's the computer, there's the Xbox, there's everything. And there's been a lot of different consoles throughout the years, so there's a lot of different choices. And there's different games, opinions, gamers, genres, but it's all still one big community. Okay, so the hypothesis, um, we were pretty sure that the blood pressure would rise, uh, so would the pulse, um, and we thought that the reaction time would decrease, um, making us faster when reacting, and the pain tolerance would increase as well. Um, we made um, several, uh, we made two kinds of tests. The pre-test to find out is there anything about it and um, what we were going to research. Um, where we found out uh, does the pulse increase, things like that. Um, and it turned out there was actually something about it. Um, we included some different things in the pre-test. Um, like interviews, and we left out some things like uh, reaction time, and, and I believe we also left out blood pressure. Um, in the final tests, we um, those are the ones we based our conclusion on. We did not include any interviews, but we um, tested the pulse, blood pressure, reaction time, pain tolerance, all those things that we want to know more about. And then we had a different um, kinds of graphs that we wanted to show you guys. Um, the first one is the pulse, and it is, as you can see, very drastic change from the before and after. But we cannot conclude that this is the precise one because we use a blood um, pressure monitor on the wrist instead of the upper arm as you usually do. So it's not really precise, but it's as good as you can get. And then we uh, measured the time by using the stopwatch and counted the beats per minute. Um, 
this graph shows the blood pressure of the test uh, subjects. The blue and the yellow line was the systolic, syst systolic. systolic test before the, um, the test was made. And remember, uh, the red and green line uh, was from after a jump scare. Um, we can see that uh, systolic and uh, Right. Uh, systolic blood pressure would rise in some subjects, while other subjects it. I'm a bit nervous. Um, Slower, so um, it's kind of wait. Let's grab. Um, we I'd say that we're. Um, it might be because of the um, once again the blood pressure monitor being on the wrist. No, sorry. What? Am I sorry? Um, <coughs> very nervous. Um, it was widespread. Um, we don't quite know why. Um, we expected that to be more like everyone just became a lot faster, so. And then we have oh, the last one, which is the pain level, pain tolerance, whatever you want to call it. And we want to inform you guys, it's not very precise either. Um, there's no exact, but we tried our best. And we actually did this by taking a toothpick and running it and slightly poking the sub, uh, test subject while playing and after playing to see their reaction. And we also used um, our special um, program called React to see their reaction times, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, and we also used the 1 to 10 scale uh, for the test subjects so we could see if they were poking or doing anything in the same level each time to make it more precise. So, yeah. React is a small homemade program that is very lightweight um, and can be run on any computer or operating system. Um, React has very few features, meaning it's very simple. Um, and it has only one purpose, and that is to measure uh, subjects' reaction time. The program is used by pressing a button, um, waiting the button to become red, and then press it, pressing it again to get a result. Um, this re result is uh, so precise that it can be measured in milliseconds. from our research that our hypothesis were mostly wrong. Uh, we predicted the subject's pulse would rise and it was wrong. Only one, per, one subject's pulse gave a significant increase in beats per minute after taking the test. We also predicted uh, the subject's blood pressure to uh, blood pressure would increase um, and it was also wrong. There was almost no difference and we had trouble explaining our results. We blame the inaccuracy of our uh, measurements. We predicted the subject's reaction time would become faster, and we were wrong. Um, reaction times did not change in the right direction in almost all uh, of our subjects. The last prediction we made was that the subject's pain resistance would increase. Um, and, but we cannot conclude anything because the results were too inaccurate. 
most other research um, suggests the complete opposite of our research, and it is probably due to our inaccurate measurements and apparatus not being uh, good enough. Um, we'd like to thank um, our teachers for helping guiding us through this process, our parents for supporting us, and our test subjects, which were mostly our parents as well, but uh, yeah, <laughs> for letting us test, uh, doing tests on them. Yeah.